Please welcome Amber Rose from South Philadelphia. Hello, my name is Amber Rose. I'm a model and entrepreneur, thank you. But most importantly, I'm a mother. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. I feel like nowadays, like millennial parents, like we really don't give a fuck. That's something that unites all American parents. Whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals, we all want a better country for our children. There's the stuff that we're being super careful about because it's our first kids. So we're yeah. kind of assuming like this shit is life or death. Turns out smoke a blunt in front of them, give them coffee. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They'll be oh, she'll be OK. I'm a coffee addict. Not I'm so to, scared not, I'm going to make her coffee addict. No, I mean, I don't want to say it like that. Like do do extra crazy shit to your daughter. <laughs> but like she'll be OK. No, but for Me and my kids literally drink coffee. And like my four year old, he's like, he'll wake up and be like, I want coffee and breakfast. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump president of the United States. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! Stop You know what? You are sick! Yeah. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. Oh, well, you terrible. Know. I'll go backstage before show. Yes. And everyone's getting dressed. You know, they're yeah. standing there with no clothes. Is everybody okay? And you see these incredible looking women. Now, you may be wondering why I'm up here telling you this. I'm no politician and I don't want to be. But I do care about the truth. And the truth is that the media has lied to us about Donald Trump. To beat a xenophobic, white nationalist, white supremacist, bona fide racist, known sexist, documented bigot, celebrated insurrectionist, election denier, wannabe politician, four times indicted, twice impeached, recognized sexual assaulter, convicted fraud perpetrator, 91 felon charges in four states, who doesn't give a, I'm sorry, I'm in church, blankety blank about black people. I know this because for a long time I believed those lies. So I'm here to set the record straight. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse. And I believe the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. Nobody knows the system better than me. Nobody knows politicians better than I do. Nobody knows. Nobody's me. better. Nobody's stronger. Than There's nobody bigger or better at the military than I am. I love the First Amendment. Nobody know, loves it better than me. Nobody loves the Bible more than I do. There is nobody that respects women more than I do. Nobody builds walls better than me. Nobody's in the history of this country has ever known so much about infrastructure as Donald Trump. Nobody I, knows debt better than me. Nobody I, even understands it but me. Nobody can do it like me. Which is why I alone can fix it. People have to do their research. I am your warrior. I am your justice. And for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution. I am your retribution. I watched all the rallies. And I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. <laughs> they need to pay the ultimate price for their crimes. Yes. An example needs to be made. This is the people's house. Let us in. Get in there. Arm up. Get the f in there. Let's get them.
I realize Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay, or straight. It's all love. You only have 12 viewers on your gay little channel. You're probably a homosexual yourself. You should probably go hang out with the rest of the Democrats. Why are you here, you little bitch? Ooh. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> I consider you a black person like myself. Jocelyn, stop identifying me. Let me identify myself and then let you know what that is. Uh, you're not white though, you're black. My father is white though. Okay, but to me, to me, your mother's But your that's mother's not black. about you, it's okay, about me. It is Peter, mix, that's the whole you point. You mix like me. You, mix like, you know what's your problem? Your problem is that you really want to be a white girl. Jocelyn. Your problem is that you really don't even want to be black. She's conflicted with her blackness. She don't know how to behave in black places or in white places. She feel like she got to cater to each of them. But I damn sure know that she doesn't cater to nothing black. Nah, you want to go there? Let me finish. There she go. Cry, baby, cry, baby, cry, baby. So I let go of my fear of judgment, of being misunderstood, of getting attacked by the left, and I put the red hat on too. Love you too. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I was just sitting here thinking that I do need some new lingerie. Um, you know, um, I'm a single girl and I got rid of all my old lingerie, so I need some new lingerie so I can take some sexy pictures for you guys and sexy videos. So if you can send me some lingerie, I would absolutely love that. I want to thank my father, who's in the audience tonight, for opening my eyes. He served over 20 years in the U.S. military. Thank you for your service, Dad. With my family, they feel like they're more superior or better than an African American because we're Creole and we have culture and that's something that I've battled with um, most of my life. I'm angry that my family is like that. And they want to pass so bad that they raise my mom and my uncles and my aunts to, to not fully know their culture. And I feel like that's why my father is white. I love you, Dad. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. When I met the president and Melania for the first time, he was kind and generous and funny as hell. Very funny. The first lady was gracious and smart with a smile that will brighten up any room. If you're watching this tonight, you know our country is in trouble. Just like me. When you go to the store and buy food for your family, you're shocked. When you fill up your gas tank, you're pissed. I know I am. <laughs> and when you turn on the news, you are just exhausted. Inflation is out of control. And you know in your heart, it was not like this under Donald Trump. My message to you tonight comes from a humble place. The left told me to hate Trump, and even worse, to hate the other side, the people who support him. A lot of Christians that I have met throughout my life, I found to be very delusional and um, liars. You don't believe in God? I do not believe in God, no. I'm an atheist, for sure. Not a Satanist? I'm not a Satanist, no. And there is a distinction? 
Satanists are just, uh, they're atheists as well, but they're just more political. Okay. They're, they they have like a, it's actually a, a very rational, logical religion. They they help a lot of people, a lot, um, to a lot of women to get abortions um, in Southern states that, you know, where they're illegal. They help a lot of the gay community, the LGBTQ plus community. Um, they're really great with that. They just use Satanists to kind of just troll, but they don't believe in Satan at all. People would say, okay, you're an atheist. Why do you hate God? I don't believe in God, so I, I can't hate something I don't believe in. So you don't believe a God exists? No. And you don't believe a God has ever existed? No. And you don't believe that there's a Jesus or a manger somewhere in Bethlehem? Sure. Jesus could have been a, a man that lived on earth. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't care to argue that. It doesn't make him God. Yeah, I just did my research and then... Uh, I, I realized that I was an atheist. I, I just believe in science. I believe in evolution. I, I don't believe that God, you know, gave us Jesus as his son from a virgin mother. And I definitely don't believe in the Bible. I think it's like cool stories, but I don't, I don't, I don't believe in, in most of the stories in the Bible. I realized that I was an atheist and I think it, there's no evidence that a God exists. It's just, People believe it and then it becomes true for them. But there's no evidence that a God exists at all. I prayed for sure. Okay. I definitely prayed. But that's all I knew. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like indoctrinated into Christianity because mm -hmm. I was just raised in, into Christianity. But I I don't I don't believe that there's any evidence for a God at all. Mm. Well, there's there's not, actually. Do you believe in hell? No. So when you die I don't believe in the devil, I don't believe the devil exists. I don't believe in any, uh, I, I believe that they're fictional characters. And this is probably going to make people really mad, but I believe that Jesus was a cult leader. And I believe that it, it actually worked. And they spread his word all around the world. Jesus is a cult leader? Yeah. I think it's more likely that he was a cult leader, yeah. I mean, just think about it, Jason, you know, live, live you know, by my word, do as I say, I'm a selfish God, I'm, you know, um, spread the word around the world about who I am. And then the people around him were just like, you're crazy, we're gonna kill you. Cause you're like indoctrinating all these people into your belief system. Like cults don't have to always be, uh, you know, I mean, he had some, some good lessons along the way, but. <laughs> Not he had some good lessons along the way. <laughs> I'm just saying. The church community is somewhere throwing Bibles at the script. But they don't have to because that's my belief, right? I'm yeah. not throwing anything at them for their beliefs. You're not throwing anything at Muslims for their beliefs. We all believe in different things. That's why I love America. Because we live in a free country to have these conversations. I'm an all-American girl. When you cut through the lies, you realize the truth. American families were better when Donald Trump was president. We were safer, wealthier, and stronger. A vote for Donald Trump is a vote to put money back in our pockets and good food on our kids' plates. Yes. <laughs> Today is my birthday, oh my God. Make sure you send me a big tip today. It's, I'm the birthday girl, I get all the money today. Nobody else on OnlyFans gets money. But me today is my day. I want all the money. I want all the tips. And I love you guys so much. Or as Trump would say, it's a vote to make America great again. Thank you so much. When all that's done, that's no, done. That's an alter ego. Like, yeah. I, like I turn into Amber Rose mm -hmm. for moments, mm -hmm. um, but that's not, that's not who I am. <laughs>